being a pirate isn't easy. Other players spit on you, and banks refuse your service. On top of that, pirates can only train skills and obtain items in the following areas. Unless, of course, we find any maps to buried treasure. Any quests that unlock new ports or islands are fair game, including all of the pirate-themed ones. I have chosen to write these tales down because someone must know the truth if I perish in the chambers of Zarek. My name is Ingus, and this is the story of how I became King of the Pirates. Chapter 9 Bird Bonanza After the Battle of Nadezna, I was feeling hopeful about finding my mother, but Lokar wouldn't take me to Lunar Isle just yet. Not until I had some more experience under my belt. I felt discouraged, but I had a strong feeling in my gut that told me that Lunar Isle is where I needed to go, so I headed back south to get stronger. Luckily, I found a clue scroll, and nothing brightens a pirate's mood like a good old treasure hunt. Alright, so we have this easy clue scroll, and we are gonna see if we can get anything. This should be the second step. Alright, we got one more, and it's an Alcarid. How convenient. <laughs> Ooh, we got a casket. Okay. Let's just open this right away. <laughs> no freaking way. No freaking way. We actually have a mage set now. We have a full set of magic armor. That is sick. As I mentioned last season, the hunter skill is absolutely crucial to this story. Training it to 50 would unlock the only method for acquiring oak planks, and that is through catching eclectic implings. With 50 Hunter. Since I am a pirate and security will tackle me to the ground before I can ask to open a bank account, I have been forced to seek other places to store my loot. Obviously, the most ideal location is in my house. I can't store everything there but I can store a few things once I have the required construction level and enough oak planks. At 46 construction, I can build an armor case, which I can use to store obsidian armor, rock shell armor, and spined armor. With 48 construction, I can build an oak treasure chest, which allows me to store most easy treasure trail rewards. At 51 construction, I gain the ability to construct the carved oak magic wardrobe, which I can use to store magic armor. And at 54 construction, I can build an oak cape rack. But to do this, I'll need 50 hunter to catch eclectic implings. Unfortunately, the only place I can train hunter is here, at these little red birds. I need to catch more crimson swifts than any person has ever attempted. This is gonna suck. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this butterfly net here just in case we find any implings on the way. And so it's... <laughs> So it begins, we are off on this ship. Catching birds to 50 Hunter. Okay, I thought I was ready, but I think I have something that I want to try. I've never seen anyone do this before. You'll see what I mean. All right, so I got the pickaxe, and we are just going to head down to the mine real quick. Whoa, hey, there's a Brutu victim. That's some free herbal XP. One sec. All right, let's just buy a couple of these. Hopefully he's still there. All right, so we can just use this on the... Oh. What have I got? What have I got? Is he stuck? Um, <laughs> okay, well, I don't have a machete to help him get out of there, so I guess we're just gonna... Just gonna leave him there. All right, I just need one iron ore, and then I'm gonna superheat it into a bar. And with this iron bar, we will be making an iron spit. And what can we do with this iron spit? We can cook our bird meat. So I was a little worried that I wouldn't get this back if I used it to cook the bird meat, like it would just disappear, but seems like we get it back every time, so it's actually kind of useful. We can actually get some cooking XP while we do this. The only downside is that this is gonna be a ton of clicking. Hey, 23 cooking, We're starting to get some levels. <laughs> It's actually not that bad. So I just ran back to Karamja and made two more extra iron spits. That way we can have multiple skewers going and it'll just make this a little bit faster instead of having one having to wait for it and you know. Hey, there we go, 26 Hunter. Unfortunately, we still have another like 20 hours left.
think I might need to stop with the cooking soon because I got to put the bird on the skewer then I got to cook it and then I got to drop it and then it's just it's just a lot but we got some levels at least five more levels to go until we can use three traps which should speed up our XP per hour by quite a bit <laughs> we got 42 prayer from burying these bones. I didn't think to record this earlier, but when we started catching Crimson Swifts with two traps, I was getting about like 4k XP per hour. But as you can see, we're getting 9k per hour. So we're making progress. We are making progress. Oh yes, a genie. This is like our first genie in like a month or so. Holy crap. That is going straight to Slayer. Oh, I didn't hit record in time, um, but we just got 46 Hunter. We are still, we're still hanging in there. We're going. This has been a, a few days of just catching Crimson Swifts, but we'll get there eventually. Right now we have about 30k XP left. So we are two thirds of the way there currently. <laughs> no way. We got another prayer level. That's 43. That means we can use Protect from Melee now. That saves us quite a bit of time. That'll be really useful in the future. 47 Hunter, closing in. Still got 25k XP to go. Oh my god, no way. Another genie, another genie. Two in a day. That's how I'ma I'm get paid. We are currently sitting at 48 Hunter and the XP is doing good. Don't look at that though. It's just, it's 5k an hour, but that's cause I'm, I'm doing this slow, but we're almost there, we're almost there. I kid you not, mateys. This is my third genie in the same day. After a month dry, this is crazy. And there's 49 Hunter, one more to go. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to how many feathers are in my inventory, but according to the wiki, Every Crimson Swift has a chance to give you between 5 and 15 feathers. I didn't take too many math classes in college, so I'm just gonna average that down to about 10 feathers per bird. Meaning we have caught around 2,000 Crimson Swifts. Damn. There it is, crew. 50 freaking hunter. I think I just set the record for the most Crimson Swifts ever caught. Yeah, dude, I think, I don't think anyone else has, has ever caught more than like the first few hunter levels for these. Well, I'll be damned. We can catch eclectic implings now. So you know what's coming next. <laughs> 